They say that the ocean is big. I wouldn't know. For me, it's always ended at the horizon. Where the water meets the fog. I wish I could see what's beyond that line. Beyond our island and the plaza. Grandma says that this is our haven. That the lighthouse keeps us safe. But a part of me wants more. It's hard to imagine that this was a different world once. That you could open your door, step outside, and just walk wherever you wanted to go. But that was before the fog. Before the city sank. Before the dirty paws showed up and took everything away from us. We still have a spectacular sunrise, though. I guess the paws couldn't find a way to deprive us of that. Ladies, my bub. Things that need fixing, I presume. Yeah. Thing for Ursula over at the Sleepy Triplets. A leaking capacitor and some, some. They said you'd know. Humph! It's broken again? How does she manage? In my day, we knew how to care for our things. All right, Sigrid. There's some crab in the basket, too. Hello, Mr. Bane. Don't you have somewhere to be, Bane? We have work to do. Hmm. Should be on my way. Fog's closing in. Uh, by the way, Doris, have you, uh, talked to anyone lately? I never talk to anyone now, do I? They say the dirty paws have been seen by the plaza. I haven't spotted them myself, but... Is this your idea of a joke? Wish it was. Just be careful, will you? I could look after myself before you were even born, Bane. Now scram! The air seems absolutely saturated with gloom. Ugh. We need more sparks if we plan to hold that fog back. I'm on it. Remember, no fiddling with your hands. Only use the net or... Or they will burn my hands just as they always did Grandpa's. It's not my first time, Granny. You can't live on old marriage, Shrimpy. I tell you that. Now what are you waiting for? Saw some sparks gathering on the beach earlier. Better check the fountain and Grandpa's memorial as well. Got it. Always some that escape the lighthouse storage, too. Don't let that go to waste. Oh, we found one! Give it a good whack. That should lead the power straight into your battery. It's like she thinks I've never done this before. Lighthouse done. Sparks, the fog is really close today. There must be a reason. I'll take Anita and go investigate when we're done. I thought you weren't gonna take her out before she's repainted. Necessity knows no law, Siggy. Got the ones by the fountain. You didn't climb it, did you? That damages the stone finish. Huh? Ah, never mind. Just trouble Iris used to cause as a kid. Mom? Did she play here a lot? Sigrid, I don't have time for chill. Okay, found the ones by the memorial. Hey, Grandma, why don't we have a stone for Mom? Stones are for the dead. But she's been gone for so... Uh, what's with you today? Less talking, more spark collecting. I think. You're not going close to the water, are you? Just to get the sparks, I wasn't... You know what can happen in those waters. There's a reason people don't go swimming, you know. More than a few feet down and... I know. Ah, 
That should do it. With that fog coming, we sure need all the power we can get. Grandma? What was that about the dirty paws? I wish you'd never have to live in a world where that scum still existed. But are they really back? If they are, we better be ready to batten down the hatches. I don't like the look of that. The lighthouse beams should have pushed it away already. Why won't it? Grandma! Mr. Bane! Sigrid! Sigrid, take cover! There was... Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. If this is what the paws are up to, then... You look all pale, girl. Oh, it's just... Uh, there's something... Is it Anita? Did she capsize? I it's not the boat. Just come see. Stay back, child! I'll give the harpoon No, and... it's not dangerous. It helped me save you. Helped you? Yeah, like... Just watch. Sigrid, are you out of your mind? We need more sparks, Grandma. I can go get them. Absolutely not! It won't hurt me, I promise. And technically, I'm not in the water, I'm just on it. We don't have a choice. Oh, have it your way, girl. But don't get used to it. Sweet ma- Macro, I wonder what happened to Bane. Tread carefully. What are you, even? I mean, you came at the same time as those monsters. From where? Ha <laughs> ha 
over here. Huh. Those little sticklebacks won't work for machinery like this. Only good for pocket change. On your end, Sid? Not quite, so don't buy green bananas. What's that? Bananas? Why would I want bananas? It means we shouldn't plan too far ahead. Do you even know what a banana is? Just something I heard Bane say once. Forget it. What's the matter with you? Rambling about fruit. Are you quite all right? Well, better get this mess we're in straightened out before you go bananas. <laughs> so we can fill up the tank.
Mr. Bane! say your name. If you say one more word while standing on that thing. You know, sometimes I just wish that Granny would accept that things have changed. This is what we're stuck with, right? Some days it's not all that bad. Grab to eat, needs to watch. I'm just saying, we might as well make the most of it. Not Granny, oh no. Everything worth doing was apparently better back in the good old days. She just keeps rubbing it in, you know? When we had the dandelion, before the war, when your grandfather was still alive, blah, blah, blah. The war happened. Grandpa is dead. Sometimes she makes me feel like my future is only in the past.
咋样了of sea creature <laughs> when I was a kid I, I always wanted a pet I tried keeping an eel in a barrel once <laughs> freed grandma right out of her socks she was all like eels are no pets eels are meals <laughs>
Huh. Oh. <laughs> Is Dr. Thelonious. I sure hope I've taught you well enough to know about him. Oh, uh, of course. He discovered Weave Rock. And its uses, mind you. His work turned a small fishing village into a metropolis. Hey, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> it worked! Quick, let's get going. I'll catch up to you. Oh, and I met the mayor's mother. Cordelia? Well, she and her husband ran the dandelion. Worked closely with them for years. <laughs> the Rigfield drills at work used to be a sight to behold, bringing up weed rock day and night. We heard that thumping all the way to the plaza, like a rhythmic lullaby. How does it work? I mean, how did you get the sparks out of the weave rock? It's a complicated process, dear. Simply put, the weave rock was fed into an untangler. Sparks and gloom were carefully separated, and then the sparks went right into the belly of the dandelion, providing the whole city with energy. What about the gloom? Oh, we got rid of that. The gloom kept the sparks safe underground, but then it was superfluous. No use for the shell once you've cracked the egg. Of course, when those blasted paws blew up the dandelion, all the gloom still in the reservoirs ended up all over Strandville. And now it seems that lowlife found a way to weaponize it. Shrimps and lobsters, what is happening here? Those towers are huge and kind of creepy. Creepy? Ah, they're just machines built to keep this city running. They're just so intimidating. They are, aren't they? Grandma, it's the barge again. Are they following us? What are they spraying? Nothing you should get close to, that's for sure. Whatever the mayor is doing here, it seems to have sparked their interest. Let's hurry. What a... Uh, uh, uh. You... You're, you're the one who... Oh. I... I am in your debt, miss. They took us completely by surprise. They? The dirty paws, dear. Back yet again. Sprayed that horrid gas all over us. Must be how they control the gloom. It seems our work here is even more urgent than we thought. You're Mr. Clout, then? They worry about you back at the plaza. Asked us to check if you're okay. Oh. Oh, oh very sweet of them. And I'm quite all right, thank you. But as their mayor, I simply must take some risks. The people of Strandville come first, not me. Oh, Andy. Yes, sir. Where are the others? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It seems like they're all gone. What a shame. They were brave men. So this is where you're hiding, Clemens. You idiots started the drills? Difficult times mean difficult choices, Doris. But drilling for Weave Rock in this day and age? And with no experience at that, the repercussions we could be- We have no choice. Everyone who used to have experience is long gone. My dear Doris, 
you remember what Strenville used to be? The avenues of the plaza. The orchids growing in the night orchard. Only fools linger in the past, I always say. Indeed. We cannot dwell in bygone days, but it would be foolish not to learn from them. You know as well as I what the paws are capable of, and what they took away from us. We must protect our young. So what do you plan to do? Shoot the dirty paws out of the sky once and for all. We're building a weapon. A weapon? Powered by sparks? How does it work? Are you interested in helping? I wanted to ask you, but people kept saying that you haven't had much interest in the outside world ever since... I'm uh... interested in protecting my home. Now show me those blueprints. Oh, but of course. Andy? Not good enough. What do you mean? What I said. It's not good enough. What does this do? It, uh, oh, well... Does this mean you'll join our team, Doris? We sure could use your expertise. I'd even go as far as to say you couldn't do without it. I'll take these. Uh, probably just some to adjust. Granny, look! What on earth? Of course. That behemoth of theirs, it's messing with the drills! Secret, get to the emergency switch. Shut this down before things get worse. It won't budge. Oh, the drills must be sent to manual overload. The relief valves are all the way up on the rigs. There's no way we'll get to them. This is what happens when you meddle with things you don't know anything about. Wait, I think I can see a way up there. You completely lost it? Ziggy, we need to get out of here. What if it follows us to the plaza? I have to do this. Sigrid! Huh? Sparks, I can't believe I'm doing this. question is, what happens when they're back? It's not just the gloom. That spray, it, it controls those monsters as well. That's horrifying. If you had been around during the war, then you would have known true horror. We won't let this stop us. Let's head back to Plaza. Doris told me you were in need of some sparks.
Deep breaths, my darling. Waves are crashing. We are still far from shore. Know that I've got you. It's what my mom used to sing to me when I woke up with nightmares. Uh-huh. 